l'estate tutto l'anno. Ciao soccer fans and welcome to the Italian Soccer Attic broadcast. My name is Graziano and I'm your host. Even though there were no games played this weekend because of the international break, that doesn't mean that there wasn't anything to talk about. Au contraire. If you thought the last two weeks in Italian soccer were exciting, where do you see what happened since the last time we talked? The last day of the transfer market was the Italian version of that famous movie, Back to the Future. Yes, in that movie, Marty McFly goes back in time so he can change things that would affect the outcome of the future. And that's exactly what Italian teams did on the last day of the transfer market. First off, Mario Bellotelli. Yes, him with the wild hair. Mario Bellotelli, who last year Milan sold to Liverpool for some 20 million, was zapped back to Milan in order to change some future outcomes and to uh, moderate his behavior, they even inserted a clause in his contract saying that, the, that he was limited to non-wild haircuts. What's next? Are they going to ban him from blowing up fireworks in the bathtub? Then Inter got into the act. They sent the DeLorean to Man City and got Jovetic to drive it back to Inter Milan. Yes, Jovetic, who was sold by Fiorentina uh, two years ago for some 25 million, is now back in Italy wearing the black and blue of Inter. And not to be outdone as they're floundering almost in the relegation zone, Juventus cast their eyes to Quadrato. Yes, Quadrato, who last year uh, Fiorentina sold to Chelsea for 35 million is now on a year-long loan back to Juventus. What is going on with this back to the future stuff? Now in the movie, uh, Marty McFly was pretty successful in changing the outcome of the future, but I caution you because of that Italian proverb that says la minestra riscaldata, which means that reheated food never tastes as good. But we will see. Now, if you thought that was weird and wonderful, also taking place last week was a Champions League draw for the two Italian teams. And get this. Going back to the past, last year, Roma was in the group of death with Man City, while Juventus was drawn in another group with two beatable teams. Fast forward to this year. This year, Juventus is now drawn in the group of death with Man City and Roma has two very beautiful teams. Is this reality or are we in the twilight zone? And the very last example of the past having an influence on the future was in the two games that Italy played during an international break. The first game Italy played Malta and won 1-0 on a Diego Maradona hand of God goal. Yes, Graziano Pelle put one in with his arm. But who's watching? And today, uh, Italy played Bulgaria and Daniele De Rossi, who in 206 gave that famous elbow to the American player, today got another red card for acting up. These guys never learn. Not even Dan Brown could decode the weirdness that went on in Italian soccer this past week. Hmm, I wonder if this Back to the Future stuff works for me. All right, Professor, zap me out of here. Let's see what happens. Azzurro, il pomeriggio è troppo azzurro, è lungo per me, mi avvolgo di non avere più risorse, 